Levi, a question for you is, do you, so I, I heard you say earlier that, you know, when you were first starting out, you were, you had created the content for about a month or two months prior to, and then you had the whole month's content, uh, and then you started publishing it out afterwards, you know, to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Are you still doing that even now? I'm ahead. Yeah. I mean, typically we run about a month ahead. So the, the cool thing is, is like, if you, let's before you publish if you film eight videos let's say your schedule is going to be you know two videos a week if you film those eight videos first you can schedule those out two videos a week for the next month on youtube now now you have a whole month to do what you need to do the smart thing to do would be film your next month's worth of content in that one month time frame right so you stay right. ahead now what happens is is that you know, again, like I said, life happens, health happens, real estate happens, you know, and then things happen. The main thing is, is that you want to, you've got a time block for video period. You've got to figure out what's going to work best for you and your schedule. Do you block one day a month and you film everything in one day? Now that's a lot. Or do you block, you know, an afternoon every single week and film everything in one afternoon? Every Maybe you do two videos a week, um, you know, at the same time every week or, for me, I typically pick a weekend. I do four videos on a Saturday, four videos on a Sunday, and then um, we have other content that goes out. So we still uh, publish three times a week, but uh, you know, I, I have a month's worth of content that it takes me about two days to knock out. And to me, and it's about four hours each day, depending on you know give or take. So you know, it's about a full um, you know eight hours there, but otherwise that 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 will get me through the next month. Got it. Okay. And that's a lot of leads, man. Like, you know, almost seven leads a day. How do you go about managing so many leads? I mean, 690, 617 leads in the first quarter. How do you guys go about managing so many leads? Yeah, we cover that um, extensively in the course, but the high level is that, uh, well, we have Chrissy, first of all, so that's a big help, but we have, we have a 24 seven call center and uh, that answers any phone calls, any text messages or emails that come in. Uh, Chrissy monitors those and based on if they don't give their full information, then then she'll you know get their full information and then we distribute that to the team members based on their price range. But the call center ask you know like four main questions, which is you know like what's your timeline? Are you pre-approved? What's your price range? Uh, you know, and, or if it's a seller, it's like, what's the, what do you believe the value of your home is? How many beds, baths, things like that. So depending on if they're buying or selling, the call center will ask them three or four questions, send us an email. And then of course, Chrissy's monitoring that email. So for her, you know, that, that comes in, um, you know, five per day, um, five to seven per day. I mean, we've, we've gone through s several different variations, right? Uh, I took all the calls in the beginning, and what I learned from that was that nobody was expecting to talk to me. So they were actually surprised I was the one answering the phone. So this is something that, you know, uh, proved to me that, okay, I don't have to be in the picture and people are already expecting a team member. So I could, I could offload that, but, you know, I still went through the first 350 calls because I needed to talk to people. I needed to understand, you know, why, why were they calling us? What were they looking for? Who are they? You know, you get to know them. So, then, then, then I passed the calls along to Travis. That only lasted about two months because, you know, with production and taking calls, it's just way too much. And then we had Chrissy take the calls and then she was spending majority of her day because these people, when they call you, they want to talk for 30 minutes, you know, 30, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. You look at all my Zoom calls in the beginning, they were all an hour, you know, just because people love you. The, the video develops that relationship. And so, they were coming in just chatty Cathy's, right? Uh, the good thing about the call center is the call center is like, uh, I'm not an agent. I don't know. I can't answer that question. Uh, all, I, all we're going to do is get you to somebody as quickly as possible, you know? Mm -hmm. And But they, we also pre-screen them. So they also filter out, filter out spam calls and rentals as well. Um, you know, so that way the leads that we just get are straight home buyers or sellers. Amazing, man. Hey, great job. Thank you so much for answering those questions. Oh, you're welcome. What's up, Eden? How are you? Thanks, Levy. Um, two, um, the first one, the, the first two offers you have, right? Uh -huh. One was to buy the lesson. The other one was for you to coach with four coaching calls, right? Well, it's you, you purchase the course and you get four coaching calls. Yeah, right. So 
if I was going to buy the first one, obviously 2000 cheaper, uh, and let's say tried stuff on my own, it didn't work. Can I get into the wagon but for the difference? Yeah, always happy to take more money from you. <laughs> Okay, that's good. And the other thing is the second question is like with the content, probably what you coach us be kind of the same. If I was dealing with the same area agent that you have that's coached by you, like, I don't know, like, would we have the same exact thing as the other person? What we present? Uh, no, because there's only one Eden, right? Oh. Yeah. So it, this is, you, you think about this, the the uh, here's what here's what will happen. First of all, HGTV every year they come out with new real estate shows, right? <laughs> so they know that content is king, and the more content they come out with, the more eyeballs they're going to get. So they come out with a new real estate show every single year. They don't believe that's competition for themselves. They just know that they're wide, widening their audience because people, uh, you know, people relate to different personalities. So even if we were to help somebody directly in your backyard in Toronto. There's only one you. And the thing is, is I can look at my back end analytics on YouTube and it tells me the top 15 channels that people watch, you know, that my audience is watching. And 13 of those 15 channels are Dallas real estate channels. So uh, despite that, that they're watching content from 13 other agents, they're still calling us. And the thing is, is that you can't capture the whole market in Toronto. I can't capture the whole market in Dallas. The main thing is, is that video filters out the people that don't want to work with you and the people that are crazy, right? Because, uh, or unless you're crazy, then you're going to attract the crazy people, right? Because video, uh, you know, like attracts like. And so if what I love about it is like, if you have purple hair, people that call you already know you have purple hair based on your, your videos. Right. So they're like, I want to work with the purple hair real estate agent that, you know, they don't care. Um, you know, so the thing is, is that also, if we are helping someone in your backyard, it's going to come down to who's going to outwork the other person on top of that. So, you know, that's really the whole other key to this, this puzzle. I mean, we can show you everything, give you the course, all of that. I mean, it comes down to the implementation, right? And so it's, and people will outwork other people. And that's what we did in Dallas is there was, like I said, there's a ton of channels. There's a ton of agents on channels, but I don't believe anybody took the time or effort to research, you know, the way we did and then implement the, uh, you know, the amount that we did to, to do what we needed to do. So, you know, that's, that's the other um, aspect of it. Yeah. By the way, I forgot it's uh, American money. And do you guys have a payment plan or it's just to pay cash straight? Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, that's just straight cash. Yeah. Okay. Or cre yeah. Credit card. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I just had a question. Can you hear me? Well, hold on. I got, um, if, you don't, if you can raise your hand, I got Sid next in line. So I, I want to be respectful of, uh, of Sid. And hey, hey, man, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks. I appreciate that. Appreciate the uh, presentation. Awesome job. Uh, I had a question uh, in regards to uh, editing, because I know that, you know, a big chunk of making videos, then you got to edit. How did you? Uh, did you start off editing yourself and does the course cover, uh, you know, sort of, does it dive deep into editing and the best practices going forward? And do you use an editor now or do you still edit your own videos? Uh, I've never edited a single video and I, I knew I would have quit after the first video. Uh, number two, I don't cover editing in the course because I don't believe that's the best use of your time. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and I can't teach you because I've never done it. So uh, the thing is, is that, so we, yeah, we never had a marketing budget, all that we did organically, but I did have an editing budget from day one because I just knew that was something that uh, I needed to have done on my behalf. Otherwise I wouldn't have made it through that. Plus you will spend uh, the time you spend editing one video. <laughs> yeah. you, you can make five more videos in the time that it takes you to edit one video. Uh, or you could be showing five homes in that, you know what I mean? So um, for that, uh, Chrissy actually started out as our, as our first editor. We've now outsourced that. And we've also now expanded that um, to offer that to other agents. So we do offer turnkey editing services 
where uh, because people were going through the course and that's where they would get stuck. So right. we, built, we built that out of necessity because it's hard to, to find an editor, first of all, a good one, an affordable one. And then they don't know anything about optimization, SEO, keywords, you know, all that stuff. So then that would still fall back on you, uh, thumb, you know, all that stuff. So so we offer now uh, I'll just share my screen real quick. And this is not something you have to do immediately. I mean, I just recommend you get through the course first, but um, we offer turnkey, basically done for you service. So based on what you want to do, how many videos you want to publish per month, uh, let's say like two videos a week or eight per month, we, we have, uh, you get, you know, your own video editor. Um, Chrissy is actually the, the manager. So you deal directly with her. Uh, and she's local, by the way, she's in the, she is the U S uh, professionally designed thumbnails. You get geotag thumbnails, you get the descriptions, the, the titles, the hashtags, uh, everything. And it can even be uploaded to YouTube for you. So basically you just shoot content. If you, um, you know, if you go this route, then what happens is, is you, you have an onboarding call with Chrissy. Uh, she'll set up a Google drive and a Trello board with you to manage workflow. And then it's basically you film content, give it to the team, they'll crank it out. You have zero coaching on, on your part because our team knows, you know, they've done not only 300 videos for us, but they've, you know, they've done it for all of our other clients. So, you know, that's it. All we really need is basically your brand colors and take everything from there. Gotcha. That's really good advice on, on just offshore, um, outsourcing the editing. Cause I think that's where most people get overwhelmed. Uh, question, uh, last question on, um, I had on, um, content now that you, mentioned filming do you give content ideas too as part of the course on hey what's the best practices again to start filming what content ideas to, to film and yeah we give you uh give you about the first three to four months worth of content because it's it can be it's it can be universal i mean it pretty much works in any market so that's a great way to start off um as a baseline and the thing is is that you you kind of you optimize for the algorithm in the beginning and then you optimize for your audience as you develop your audience because in the beginning you don't have an audience and so therefore uh, we create a lot of content that's search based and because that's just going to help you found get found a lot quicker and then as you start having phone calls and emails and conversations and showing clients and actually working with them specifically from YouTube you start, you know, you read the comments, you reply to comments. Once you understand your audience, you're going to start to develop videos kind of like on your own that are not necessarily search related. And plus, once you have the audience established, you know, then those videos will do well. So, uh, but yeah, we start you off with what you need in the beginning. Awesome. Thanks, man. Those are the questions I had. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to jump over to Hassan. He's got his hand raised. Sorry, Marcel, man. You got to get your hand raised or, uh, or uh, I'm going to keep going to the hand raising. You'll figure it out. <laughs> what's up I guess, I guess all the toronto people are asking questions today love it yeah uh, my question to you is uh whether you do it yourself or do it with you is there a certain length of the program that you give us like this week you need to follow you need to do this much like this many lessons or is it like basically uh, no it's really it's really just at your own pace so you know some people it's i mean it's about nine hours worth of content you know overall bell to bell so I mean, some people will go through that in a day. You know, some people will go one hour a day over the next nine days. I mean, you're, you're going to go through it at your own speed, you know? Yeah, but so, so help me understand this. What do you mean by done with, your, with you? Does that mean that you guys will hop on with us? Or is just that the four calls at the end? That you no, do? you, well, you complete the course first. And okay. so when you complete the course, it should answer 99% of your questions, right? But the thing is, is that, it depends on your learning style. Some people want a little bit more hands-on approach. So they, they'll go through the course and they'll still feel, okay, I didn't understand anything or I didn't understand, you know, it just depends. They'll be like, I just want a little bit more of a one-to-one -one approach in that way, because we're going to show you how to build out your channel. Now, here's the other thing. If you end up hiring, you know, our editing team, they're going to build everything for you. <laughs> I mean, so they're going to do your channel art, your, you know, your, your descriptions, you know, your, uh, they're going to customize your channel. They'll do all that for you. Now, some people will go through that and they'll just miss things, you know, so I'm there to like, close those gaps, um, you know, for, for people that want that done with you, but that's after you complete the course, because, what I, what I can't do is like somebody not go through the course and then ask me a thousand questions, right? That the course will answer. So 
Um, the course does walk you through everything that you need. It just depends on, on your learning style. Some people like individual, you know, um, you know, approach there. Some people are just like, give me the info and get rolling. Gotcha. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Marcel, now you're up. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my question was, uh, and then, and I know you have a you have a system in place now, but how long did it take you to do like your your first video? Like, were you overthinking it a lot? I mean, I know you have an editing team now, so or did you have an editing editing team back then? And but actually, no, you answered that question earlier. But yeah, how long did it take you to put that together? And were you in your head too much about it? No, I mean, Chrissy was the editing team in the beginning. So uh, the cool thing is, is that. I, I mean, I don't know. I've worked with Chrissy for over three years now. She's worked with me in other businesses, you know, my financial business before and everything, but all is contract work. And uh, I actually originally found her on Fiverr, uh, believe it or not. But, and I was like, what is this? Uh, click, there has to be clickbait because, you know, it has an American on there with really low prices. And I was like, this definitely has to be clickbait. And, uh, but it wasn't. So she's real. But now, uh, yeah, we, we brought her on full time last year, but it was. I, Sorry, the, the question was more around like the content, like figuring out what content you're going to generate. Oh, well, I mean, I, I knew what, what the videos I was going to shoot. So it was just a matter of just shooting the videos. The thing is, is that I, I know the content. I know Dallas, you know, and your city, your neighborhood, your suburbs it, are the content. So for me, no, um, it was I think for me, it had I had to get used to speaking to a camera because I'm used to reading facial expressions, body language, you know, getting a little feedback, having a little dialogue and to, this yeah. is where you've got to learn to talk to yourself, you know, basically yeah. uh, right. be, be conversational. I just think that's a little bit of a, a learning curve there, but otherwise, uh, no, I just jumped in and, and it was, you know, just got to work basically. Okay. And then have you, have you uh, had, have, how many people have you like helped, I guess, like get set up with this program? How's um, just trying to get an understanding of like how effective that's been in the past, I guess. Uh, well, quite a few. And let me see, I, I, I'll show you something. Let me see. Can you see? Uh, where did he go? Oh, uh, can you see my text messages on my screen? Yep. Okay. So let's see if you can see this. Like this is... Uh, I guess I can't zoom in, but you'll see Kyler. He's pointing to, here's his text message right here. He says, 58 leads in 11 weeks on YouTube. This is crazy stuff, guys. Let's catch up soon. And I was like, awesome. How many under contract? Two closed already, one under contract, probably 10 to 15 ready to buy this summer. A few already making offers. First video will hit 10,000 views. I mean, this isn't even, he's not even uh, 12 weeks. That's three months. He's under three months right now. And we'll hit 700 subs this week. So, you know, that just came in. You can see this uh, 6.43 a.m. Uh, that was the last text today. But yesterday, you can see yesterday, 4.01 p.m. So this just came in yesterday. I mean, this is an example of, of one team that just implemented very quickly everything, followed the course to a T. And within 11 weeks, you can see here 58 leads. Um two closed deals one this is way faster than we grew i'll tell you that too they they they're the fastest we've seen um just come out of the gate they actually had a deal under contract within three weeks so so they're just getting started thank you you're welcome what's up gary hey how's it going good How are question you? um on option three if you chose that option do you have to switch your real estate brokerage is this something that's like a requirement to do option three? Yes. Okay. Because so I just started my own real estate brokerage and I, I definitely don't want to switch it. So. <laughs> I hear you. Well, I mean, it's uh, now, I mean, the thing is, is that if there's a unique situation, that's why I say text me number three so we can discuss it because I mean that, you know, there's. I'm, I'm with, I'm with the, I'm, I'm with the, sorry to interrupt. I'm with the XP also. There's a lot of brokers that actually move to the XP. So you can still have your own and bring, come over. No, I understand that, but it's my own brokerage and its own brand, but thanks more so. Yeah. So, okay. I, if you're willing to talk about it, I, yeah, I'll, I'll text you three and then 
talk through it a little bit more? Um, yeah, we, yeah, we'll have a, a conversation about it. So it just depends on everything. I mean, I would say always explore options, right? And so, you know, we'll just have to see what that may look like. But also this could be something that, you know, if you partner with us, we, we will provide this to your entire brokerage, you know? So I think that's where team leaders and brokerages really struggle with is, their agents actually producing, you know, uh, results, actually uh, selling homes and struggling with uh, lead generation, right? Or they just sit around and wait, hopefully their broker gives them something or a lead or, you know, they, they have limited budgets. This is something that any brand new agent, um, people with a very low, uh, you know, low budgets to work with, this is all something they can implement. So that, that's an advantage to team leads or brokers. Okay, yeah, definitely interested to talk more about it. Um, do you what do you, else do you provide if it's say option three or even one and two? I guess um, is it just the the coaching calls and then the content, or do you um, there was something you were showing about another package uh, with the editing um, plan? There's someone who edits for you. That's that's not included with any of these options. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'll I'll never charge you for anything. Um, other than editing, just because we can't, that's a labor cost. We can't, uh, we can't absorb that cost. So for me, I'll, I'll jump on a zoom anytime. Like if, if anybody's in our, in our group, you know, uh, I mean, I do live calls each week, usually once or twice a week, minimum once, um, usually twice a week. So people can always jump on the live calls for additional support. We have a Facebook group. Um, and then we have, a, and also, um, can you, Chrissy, can you, uh, mute Joe? Okay. Um, you know, so we have the ongoing support, but also if like, if you want to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call and you're part of our group, I'll do that anytime. Uh, it's just a matter of just, we just schedule it out. So, um, and then we have, we work with a couple of other teams, um, you know, uh, actually Brad Vandewall, you Canada people, I don't know if you've heard of Brad Vandewall, but you get plugged into his system um, and coaching. They don't charge anything for that. Um, Michael Reese and Jay Kinder, part of National Association of Expert Advisors, they founded, founded that. You get access to all their coursework and training and things like that. That's no charge. So there's, there's some pretty significant advantages to that. But again, we'll kind of we'll just touch on that on the call. I don't want to, I don't like to turn this into that, um, you know, discussion. I want to be respectful of everyone, but it's really, yeah, we can talk about it and just see, you know, if it's a good fit for you, I'm not here to pressure anybody. It's just a matter of, you know, may it work for you? May, maybe not. If not, then we, we work out maybe a purchase option for the brokerage, you know. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. What's up, David? Hey, Levi, uh, quick questions. Uh, first, how long does it take for us if we jump into your course full blast to get to the point where we actually would want to use your editing services and start posting? Yeah, I mean, I think as soon as you get through the coursework and you start um, filming content, I mean, that that it could be within the same week, you know, so it's just one of those things where uh, you know how people can be sometimes they get the course and then all of a sudden they're like, well, I got to go on vacation and then I've got a holiday and then I've got this and that and they end up you know, they don't even get through the course for sometimes 30, 60 days. And, and uh, that's why I'm saying the editing is there's no contract or anything, but it is like a use it or lose it. So we want you to be ready to go with content, you know, so ideally you get through the course, you film probably two or three videos. That would be the ideal time. Okay. And then second, how long does it take to turn the, the videos around and edit them and get them back to us or to post them? Chrissy? Are you well, you're, pro yeah. you're probably pretty busy, right? As you're getting more and more people in, are you building your editing team too to keep up with the volume? Yeah, yeah. We have dedicated teams for different parts of the process as well, just so that we can get them out as quickly as possible. But typically it's 48 to 72 business hours. Um, if we're in a time crunch, we can usually do it in 48, but we usually like to do it in about 72 to make sure that we do it thoroughly. Cool. And then also you talked about these long, long content videos and how we should chop them up and repurpose them into like 10 videos. Do you also offer that service? Is that part of this or is that something that we do? Chris? Yeah, we have, we have a short service that's in beta right now. We're not offering it to everybody um, currently, but we do have something available. So if you are interested in that, we can talk about it. It is an upsell from that. It's not the in, included in the package. It's an additional charge for the shorts, but um, yeah, we can definitely discuss that. Cool, thanks. 
Yeah, and what we're testing on that, David, is is uh, we're doing five ninety seven, right, Chrissy, for for thirty. Yeah. So basically, uh, once you have, I would start, you know, maybe look at that a month later. Once you have eight, you know, six, seven, eight videos, then for five ninety seven, you'll get uh, thirty. Per well, it's nine. Well, it's ninety because it's three per day. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, it's three per day. Mm -hmm. you, need to, you need to raise the price. <laughs> uh, three per day. Oh, okay. All right. Well, my bad. Okay. So, so if we, if you do that and you get all these chopped up ones, those come with, I think you taught, when I saw you a few days ago, I think you mentioned that um, there's other channels you put those short, those shorter runs into, right? You don't run them in your main channel. You've got other avenues. Is that all covered in this course or is that separate because you're getting into other social media? No, well, I cover, I cover, there's a shorts channel because uh, we, we started a separate shorts channel on YouTube just for the short form content. And I explain in the course why I did that, the strategy behind it. And ultimately it's up to you. You can put shorts on your main channel, but I explain in the course why I did not do that. And then also we're testing something else right now that, you know, hopefully within 30 days or so um, I found a, a significant use for the separate shorts channel that I think is a game changer, but we're testing some things on that. It wasn't what I was planning for whenever I opened up a set, uh, the shorts channel, but I'm glad I did it now. And so, you know, but that we share with our, we share with our people, you know, um, you know, any updates or things like that in there. So we'll let you know how that works out. So if we buy this course and we're using your editing services, you discover like a new mousetrap you were going to somehow get access to that. Yeah. You all provide updates in the course. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. We're always adding new stuff to the course. We add new models. Um, we even add some new stuff on, you know, different platforms like Google, my business, Pinterest, that kind of stuff. So you'll get updates all the time. Yeah. We just added the Google, my business, Pinterest and WordPress, um, probably about two months ago. Um, just that section, which has nothing. Well, I'm, it does have something to do with YouTube because that it's what we call our SEO ecosystem. Basically they they're all search engines. Pinterest, most people don't know Pinterest is like the fourth largest search engine right now behind Google, YouTube, Bing, and then it's Pinterest. <laughs> so uh, if you're not, you know, repurposing your content on Pinterest, you're missing out on opportunity there for search, you know, for people to find you. And guess what? People search a lot of real estate stuff on Pinterest. So, and it's just a fun way to, to, repost stuff and and you know things like that to just drive more traffic but google my business i think is absolutely critical and we you know we have a module on that so we yeah we just added those about two months ago but you know david i'm going to see you probably on a regular basis so i have to make sure you're you're good to go right i mean uh <laughs> i see you in these uh these meetings uh moving forward uh i, I want you to still want to sit beside me you know oh always you're a celebrity I've seen you. You're like a Hollywood movie star. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully, I made, hopefully I made you proud today. It was worth it for you to jump on, David. Cool. All right, uh, Terrell. Hi. Actually, this is Cheryl Hill. I'm just oh. on the computer. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, my question is, I'm located in Denton, this right outside of Dallas. So, right in your town. Um, where is your headquarters? Uh, you're cutting out a little bit there, but our our office we're uh, we're officed out of downtown Dallas in Deep Ellum. Okay, so you in my backyard. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. I'm I'm under a broker right now, but um, so are you taking other? I mean, if he were to consider to move like under you, is that something you said you would consider? Yeah, just text me number three and we can have a conversation. I mean, the fact that you're local, we, you know, we do have a local team. So, you know, if that's something that you're interested in discussing as well, you know, and with the business model, you can either be an independent agent locally under, you know, our coaching support, or you can be on our team if you're good, you know, if you're a good fit for the team then, uh, you know, we, we have a team structure locally where, I mean, that's where I, you know, give out all of our YouTube leads to our team members and, and they love it. <laughs> so they're the best leads that, that, that you'll ever work with. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yeah, just text me number three, and then uh, and actually, let me, uh, I can text you. We actually have a, a meeting on Friday. If you want to join us there, uh, I can text you the details on that. Thank you. You're welcome. So we do an in-person meeting once a month with our team. And so um, you can always, we always invite people to come sit in on that if you want and just kind of get a feel, meet the, meet the other team members. You can talk to them that way. It's not just me telling you how cool things are. It's, it's uh, you can hear it from other people. Uh, Steph, what's up? How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you. Um, thanks for the whole presentation, Levi. I was over at the Digital Summit this um, weekend or this week, Monday, Tuesday in San Francisco, and um, our conversation sparked my choice and where I went for the YouTube stuff. So um, you definitely just, it's awesome to see this as a very powerful creator channel um, and then using the other channels for um, distribution. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, because of that, I'm really zoned in also in the SEO aspect. And so I wasn't sure if I missed something in this discussion about how well you incorporate the SEO side of things. Do you advise is it all on our side? Is it covered in the curriculum? Oh yeah, that's a, it's a major part of the course. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's how you get found. And so, yeah, there's, um, yeah, that's a big part of it. Uh, but again, if you if you end up working with our editing team, they're going to do everything for you. So, um, but I still think the course is important because I I think it's still valuable to understand the whole picture, how it all works, and then also uh, how to structure a video. Because uh, one of the modules, like how to make videos, you know, I have five videos just in that one module, which shows you how to do neighborhood videos, how to do office videos, how to do screen share videos. Um, you know, all of that uh, we show you you know, behind the scenes of all of that. So you understand how to make the different formats of videos. And that's, and then also how to structure your video, how to do your hook, your intro, your call to action um, script, you know, things like that. That's all discussed in the course too. So even if you hire our team, you can go through the SEO, but you don't have to become an expert. For me, I, I learned it all first um, and then built that out and then passed those skills you know, to Chrissy, Chrissy was able to, to, you know, build everything out from there. And then she's been able to pass that on to our team. So, so now the team, the editing team will basically do all that for you, but you still have to create the content. And that's, what's very important in the course is understanding how to structure a video and how to film it in different formats. Cool. Thank you. Um, also, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, and did you say, did I, was, did we come up at the digital summit or was there a discussion around uh, it? No, no. Um, I don't know if you remember Dave and I were together at our conference in Dallas this last week. Oh, so I'm working yeah. with Dave. I'm handling kind of, you know, some of our marketing stuff. So, or, Oh, gotcha. I don't know. Things like that. So I thought, did, we call, are you calling the Dallas meeting of the digital summit? Uh, no, I, it was another digital summit. Um, it's oh. all about social. Well, it's not social. It's digital marketing. Um, everything also, including the metaverse and oh web 3.0 and I don't know, just a lot more stuff, but there are certain modules and speakers that's focused specifically on YouTube, gotcha. focused on you, uh, TikTok, et cetera. So gotcha. I can send okay. you a link. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. All right, Joe. What's up, Joe? Yeah. Quick question. If you're already with EXP and with the uh, Brent Cove organization, are options one and two the only uh, options available? Correct. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Great presentation. Love it. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to jump over to the chat real quick. Uh, I don't see any other hand raised. So let me see. I think all of the questions got answered. OK. Um, maybe Il Ilona, I think she might be the only one. Does DWI help you get help you with the filming? And does it can I get a list of what's included? Um, oh yeah, we'll send you an email with the, with the purchase options. When you go to the homepage, like you'll see table of contents, but, um, on there, so you'll see table of contents, but it's everything. It's, it's A to Z. Uh, we didn't leave anything out of there. So it's uh, everything you need to get, to get started. And I think we, I'm not sure if we answered Sherry's question already, but just like, uh, she wanted to know 
uh, besides the course costs, how much are the supporting software apps per month and do you support that setup? So, yeah, I mean, I mean, you could always find your own again, but I, I, we know the challenges that and, you know, there's a, definitely a big advantage around anything that's really as, uh, as a for anyways, you can find editors there's for 20 bucks a video on Fiverr, but barriers, you've got time zone issues, you have to train them and coach them and you probably have to get decisions, uh, you know, because it's, so uh, you could do that, but then you still have So, um, you know, that's why we offer the editor other than that in the course uh, we do show you how we work through our crm system now you can pretty much link this to probably any crm system you work with we use high level and so we show you in a module uh, how we you know capture everything through high level and use that and if people want to use our crm system uh, we do offer that which with that we upload everything we upload our campaigns our emails our triggers you know, uh, automations, all that's preloaded in there for you. You just have to customize it to your name. So you get um, everything that we walk through in our CRM system through there. Um, so we do offer that as an option, but it's not required. All right. Well, I, all right. And I already forgot how to pronounce your name again. Is this right? Hey, uh, Leva, just to touch on that, because um, you said the, are you talking specifically on drip campaigns that's included as part of the program? So once you capture these leads on, on your CRM, which is high level, uh, amazing. Okay, you're showing us, good. Yeah, so I mean, we, um, well, you're, you were part of it. I mean, the, the high level, just like the automations you got for this call, right? So we have all that built out for our real estate clients. So if I go into, if I go into the opportunities portion, you know, like we have a whole pipeline built out in here. So what happens is, is like, um, you know, if I go into mail, go into here, um, okay, so like this lead just came in, like look at yesterday, this email came in uh, and it says, you know, phone number, Ronnie, Vincent, um, he's calling to speak with somebody regarding putting his home on the market, but has questions. Okay. So that's it. So, uh, Ronnie Vincent, that should be a, a, a lead in here, hopefully. Right, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. So Ronnie. Okay. So Ronnie now is in the new lead column. Right. Um, and so he gets added into here. Now what happens is, is like, um, then, then, uh, the team member should reach out and should have already reached out this morning. And so it, it logs, you know, it starts to record all the calls and everything. Now what happens is when it comes into new lead, then that's where uh, the, like a text message goes out to that team member that it's assigned to. Then from there, they'll move them through this process. So it's like a little drag and drop system. And uh, you know, if they move them to sent to lender, like somebody says, Hey, I want to be sent to the lender. So they'll move them to sent to lender. It, it'll send out automatic emails to, uh, you know, to uh, the agent. It sends it out to the, um, uh, to the uh, mortgage broker. You know, everybody, all that happens automatically. If they move it to property alerts, like somebody wants to get set up on property alerts, then they get put in here and they get automatic text and emails and everything that says, hey, you know, um, we just set you up on property alerts. Please check your email for like this, this, you know, we sent you an email with an invite for your property search from one home. Please check your inbox and your spam. But we also sent them a, a text message. Hey, we just sent you an email with the invite for your property alerts. You know, please check your inbox and your spam. You can accept the invitation. So just by moving that over, like these automatic text and emails go out to the client. Um, so they know, and then they get tagged. So we know if this person moves through here, then like showing, this is showing. So we know this person has already been set up on property alerts. I can look at all the tags in here. Um, you know, they weren't sent to the lender. So I know that. So, you know, they could be, they could be a cash buyer. Um, you know, they, there should be better notes in here, but anyways, if they're coming to town, like we built out uh, it sends them an email, a trigger to uh, schedule their time on our calendar so that we know 
when they're coming, you know, coming into town. So um, just like here, like this person, you know, um, Shika is coming to town. So that gets added in. So we know, you know, and then, then they get, if they're coming out four weeks later, they get automatic text messages and emails like every, uh, every week. Hey, you're three weeks out from your visit. Hey, you're two weeks out from your visit. Hey, you're one week out from your visit. So those are all really to take the back of the agent, um, not to replace the agent's, you know, conversation abilities. They, they still need to follow up. And so, you know, from there, those automations are all built out so that people are not doing the same thing over and over again. You're not sending out an email every time you send somebody to the lender, every time you send a property, you know, anything that, that is done twice should have an automation, a campaign, a trigger, a system, something like that. So, so if somebody wants to use high level and they, they, then we can provide that to them with everything preloaded in there. Our, oh yeah, our CRM is a little bit different, but I guess you could just copy the same thing over to the any, any CRM, I suppose. Well, I mean, it depends on what you have built out. In your, I mean, all you have to do is if, if you have a phone number and an email that feeds directly into your CRM, I mean, that's what you're going to put on your YouTube videos, you know, so.